my head cut off. Hello? I set my pig out back here because I thought it would be cute, but I can't decide if it's kind of scary or if it's cute. I mean, I love him, but like, <laughs> is it scary? This little party hat was made by Radia and I love it for him. But hi, welcome to a new vlog. <laughs> my eyes are so tired today. You know, when your eyes just want to be shut, but they need to be open for, you know, being awake and looking at stuff. My eyes wanna be shut so bad, so bad. But um, how are we doing today? My eyes are at least sleepy. I can't tell if my eyes are just sleepy or I am just sleepy. It's hard to say. Water, I've been chugging this little puppy, so uh, you can join me if you want. Pretty good, it feels good to drink. Keep yourself hydrated, keep your skin hydrated and your body rolling well. <laughs> like, am I asleep? So this vlog is, encompasses all the work I do in little sections. I do some YouTube stuff, I do some Patreon stuff, and then mid vlog, I decide I'm gonna do a shop update, which is pretty spur of the moment which is not outside of my usual, definitely. I decided I was gonna do a shop update the day I announced it in this vlog, and then it happens, and then we go through the whole process. So you get to watch that kind of peek into, you know, a couple weeks being a freelance artist, working on multiple platforms. That's kind of what this little vlog offers. I hope that you enjoy the video. I hope you're having a good day. I do also hope that you are staying hydrated out there. Mine is open. I usually do have the lid on, but I I, I sincerely have been chugging this um, for the past 20 minutes or so. I'm running really low. I'm with you on this water drinking journey for sure. Um, I'll see you at the end of the video. I don't really need to be waving, this is kind of end of the video thing, but <laughs> I will see you then, piggy dance. I'm running into my plants, I don't have a lot of room. I'm too tired for this, <laughs> I'm too tired for this. <laughs> Bye. Five thousand, five thousand envelopes, if I'm not mistaken. This is my new envelope design. Got a little wormy to tell you not to bend it. I made him into a gift, and then some bug flower for the return address, and then this little please recycle note on the back. Got five thousand of these, so I'm trying to figure out where I can fit them. I'm running out of room. But we're gonna figure it out. I think it's definitely possible. I think it's possible. Ooh. Hi, good morning. It's Thursday, 10.39. Woke up today, had got, I did yoga. I gave Tony his other birthday present bone chew thing. So if you're hearing him being disgusting in the background, I'm very sorry, but know that he is so happy. Today, I am premiering my vlog before this one. I'm also waiting for Sad Shrimp's premiere, which is just an hour before mine. So cute of us to arrange it like that. We didn't plan it, but I'm waiting for it right now. She's the one that I drew the goose for in my last video. I'm so sorry about the dog noises. 
Like, I'm sorry, for real. Because honestly, I find it repulsive. If you have never watched her videos and you're always looking for new studio vlogs, definitely check all her videos out. They're so fun and she has such good energy and such cute art. And the editing on them is unbelievable. I'm just gonna put that out there. Like my videos are edited enough, but hers are edited to a T, to a perfect T. I got 19 minutes. This is my exclusive Patreon background from, oh, from Sophie McPike on Patreon. Isn't it cute? Sorry. <laughs> so cute. Uh, I saw that and I was like, God, I have it. I'm gonna try and fill the rest of my Patreon rewards. Um, today, I have all the postcards filled. I'm going to try and work on sticking the rest of these addresses on some envelopes that finally freaking came yesterday. Fill those and I think I need to go buy stamps, but I'll at least maybe fill them. I'm just gonna try and get some of it done. I'm not gonna be done, realistically. Realistically, okay, I'll see you later, bye bye. I also wanted to update you. I'm currently filling the rewards, but I had to move this plant, which I'm kind of sad about. I used to have it over here um, by my mirror, and it would sit here and be really cute, like leaves in the pictures, like so, so many plants. But I've known for a long time that it wasn't liking being that close to the window. Getting a little crispy on the edges, yellowing out the leaves, and I was like, I know I'm not overwatering it, so I'm pretty sure it's that window. So I moved it back here, which I think will be totally fine. It's somewhat in the walkway that I like to walk in, but people can change, right? I hope that she likes it better over there. I'll keep you posted for sure, I'll keep you posted. Why is this music so annoying? Some people love it. They secretly hate it. Maggie! You just keep like, pointing at everything. Let's go to the first design. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I made a pretty large dent in these rewards. I still need to stick a lot of addresses on, but it's time for my premiere now. After Natasha's, which was so cute, definitely recommend. Um, it wasn't a vlog, it was an earring making video, that was my bad. Um, I can't be packing stuff while I do my own premiere because I feel like I have to be really active in the chat, so it's freaking 40, what, 41, 43 minutes? Why did I do that? Cheers. single month I get ready to ship my patreon rewards here's what I have so far this is my last stack to fill and then they'll all be filled but then I have to stamp put stamps on them but like once I start I cannot stop it's three o'clock and I've been doing this since 10 a.m. I can't stop like I want it done so bad and I still won't even be able to mail them, so like, why am I... Why... Why... Why it have to be done? It has to be done, though. It have to be. Thank you. I finished them. I condensed it so it looks like a casual amount, huh? But there's a lot in there. That took me hours. Some of these envelopes didn't have the sticky thing, so I had to use tape. And it's like a really double whammy of recycling. Go me. <laughs> Thank you. 
pants are ripped like that. Honestly, if my pants were ripped like that, I'd feel the breeze. I'm telling you, it was the biggest rip, and I just did not even know what to do. So I go, Layla, I know you have a hole in your pants. <laughs> and she goes, oh my god. And she turns around, so her butt's facing away from me, and she reaches back. And she's got this look on her face like, and she's like speechless. She can't, so she can't even think what she's going to say. And what do you think the first thing she says is, you saw my butt. <laughs> That's the first thing I would have thought to. You saw my butt. I don't like anybody looking at my butt. And I felt so bad for her. And all I could say is, I'd rather have it I know that some stranger walking behind me, yeah, you might want to go home and change your pants. She luckily had a little apron there, and I said, here, put this on and cover your butt so she could finish what she was doing. just got home. Oops. Started. Yeah, James just got home. I'm going to interview him. Do I need to be lower? No. Okay. How are you doing today? I'm good, just like every other day. Um, what's your um, goal in life? To have a lot of free time and money. What have you been doing today? I worked on a truck. Can you oh. shove it into the mic? Yeah. Look, I'm dirty. Thank you. Yep. Dave, how are you today? Take it. Hello, good morning. Hi. It's Monday. It's 11 11. Wild. Um, June 21st. I decided yesterday that I'm going to try and get a shop update done by this Thursday. I've been really putting it off because shop updates are just a lot of work and it makes all my other work hit a really hard standstill because all I have time for is packing the orders and emailing people and doing like all the shop running. And then Grace got a new job so she hasn't been able to come in. So I'm just like, hmm, <laughs> how shall I make this shop update happen? I'm having it on Thursday so that maybe Grace can come Friday night or one of the weekend days to help us pack orders. I have a to-do list I just made to get ready for the shop. <laughs> um, these are all my new products. I need to take all my product pictures. I don't have any. I think I'm just gonna keep it really simple, like just like a white background photo, and that's kind of it. I'm not gonna do anything super fancy. I do like the clean look of that anyways. I might like take like my, my new keychains out on some keys or something, maybe outside and take a cute picture. But otherwise, like the sketchbook postcards and the stickers don't really need to be going outside. Um, I need to do inventory on everything because every single shop update, I mess up on my inventory. And then I have to email a bunch of people like, Hey, I can't count. Um, do you mind if I refund you on this and replace it with something? <laughs> I need to design a sticker to stick shut my sketchbook postcard set. Um, I need to just check out my website design and I need to make promo images for social media. 
which will come after taking all the product pictures and then being able to kind of make them look cute and be like, hey, I'm having a shop update. And then I need to figure out how I'm going to be mailing the pencils and the keychain since they are more of a 3D product rather than my usual 2D products. I just want to see how they go into the mailers and if it's going to be an issue and if I like need to pad them in some way, which I really don't want to do. We shall see, but I think after all these things, I should be pretty prepped to go. Like I feel like each shop day update, no matter how small I make it, is nuts, which is so awesome. So awesome, but like me being the main person of this business, it's scary. It's a little scary. So I better get to work. Okay, I'm gonna try to design the sketchbook postcard sticker. Let me show you my old one. This is my old one. I designed this like literally two, a year, two, or one or two years ago. This is the old sticker, really simple. I'm gonna go for the literal same size and text. Maybe I'll just put, maybe I'll change the text, I don't know. But I do want it to be this size because I can print a lot off. And I just like fold this over and then stick it like that. Just for a little piece of branding. I think I want to go for something like this design kind of. I really like how that came up on my envelopes. I just don't know how it will come across in this small of a format. Um, there's just like a lot of words to put a lot of text to put on this little thing. So we'll see. This is what I have so far. Um, it might be a little thicker. Actually, maybe it will be a little thinner. I'm considering also putting something on the bottom, but I kind of like it. Maybe like an underline would be cute. Like that. This is the first print off. It looks pretty cute. Um, they look a little thin. I might move them around a little bit, but let's try. I think I just need to make the sticker like thicker this way. Simple, does the job. This is round two. This was round one. You can see that they're a little more separated, so let's see. This is a larger sticker. I think it looks better, but it is aligned a little bit to the left, so I just need to move it over a little bit so it's centered and that will be good. I was just working on taking product photos and now, I don't know if you can hear, but it's downpouring. All my sunlight's gone, but I did manage to finish taking photos for my pencils. You can't see it, but they're cute. And like a couple of my stickers, the strawberry one, done, landscape one, 
done and the pencils. Otherwise, I still have the chicken, the chicken and the fundraiser one. Donating all the profits from the sticker to an AAPI found um, charity. I need to do the sketchbook postcards and my one extra pencil. I got one misprint of the I'm Stinky pencil, so I have double the amount. I'm just gonna sell it separately. Oh, the keychain. Oh, I figured out that the keychain can go onto my water bottle. It was actually James' idea. He's like, do you think it would fit on my water bottle? And I was like, oh. yeah, I do. So I might take some product photos with it on my water bottle because it's like, you know, it goes together nice. I don't know, I might, I think, I really want to find some like keys I can paint and make them cute to be on the key ring so it can be like, oh, it's a keychain, but like these keys are cute. I might try and dig up something. I know I at least have one key I can paint. Cheers. My roommate helped me pack up all of these sketchbook postcard sets today. Hello. I have just been trying to take product photos, but after it started raining, it never really got sunny again. So I only got to list a couple things today. I ordered some supplies I know I'm gonna need when they run out. Um, and hopefully they get here next week when I'll probably run out. And I painted the keys. So they're like really disgusting to hold, but they look super cute. Um, and then I, I've, I made this keychain when I was like five. I was gonna do these two keys, the keychain, and then this. I thought it would be a cute little, little get together for the photo. These feel so gross to touch. I'm pretty tired. My mind has been going like a million miles a minute trying to figure out what I need to do before the shop update and make sure everything's good to go. And my brain is bouncing around like a bouncy ball in a box. Um, it is Tuesday, it's five o'clock. I feel pretty prepped for my shop update. Is my camera a little crooked? Okay. I haven't done inventory on everything yet. And then I only need one more product photo for my little chicken on the skateboard sticker. And then I finish all my product photos. I don't know if I'm 100% happy with them, really. I don't want to take more. So I think they look totally fine. It's just like, I always want them to be perfect, but I always get them to be like, those are good, which is fine. I did have to order a few more supplies once I went through like my mailers and my packaging and stuff. I always forget during shop updates to like really check how many like shipping labels I have, my packaging, tapes, mailers, um, just like things that are just like not on my brain during a shop update. I'm really thinking about the products and not really the mailing. I have not tried to pack up one of the keychains yet. Um, I'm a little worried about the key ring damaging prints. I might try and reuse some tissue for those or I also have a bunch of like little paper bags I can maybe put them in. I went to a handsy photo shoot this morning and I was up at 7 a.m. I'm a really an 8.30 riser. It's really where I prefer to rise. So I'm feeling a little sleepy, but the weather is lovely outside. I spent a lot of time on my front porch during break, so good day. We'll tie up the loose ends tonight or tomorrow and then shop update Thursday.
Okay, I spent all day doing finishing touches on my inventory. I touched literally every pencil in this room to count them. <laughs> So I could have correct inventory for them. I counted my keychains, inventoried my uh, B grade prints I'm adding. Just scheduled a early access opening for my patrons. So they're gonna get like a, a little under a day worth of early access to my shop. They're also my guinea pigs. Like if anything goes wrong, it's just a smaller community using the whole platform so it's not as crazy and I can adjust things without like too many mishaps so that's really nice for me and they get early access so I just wrote a nice like long post telling them what I'm adding why how and then I just updated their uh, coupon code too so <sighs> that's coming up in 15 minutes um, it will be open for my patrons. I'm excited, but like dreading it a little bit. Cause there's always something, some mishap, something I missed in the buying process, in the shipping process, something's gonna be off. But I still have a little bit more prep work to do, like stamping all my mailers or as much as I can. Generally, I'm pretty prepared. Hi. I just got back from a walk and I'm just checking on things going smoothly for my Patreon update. I'm eating some blueberries. I love blueberries, I could eat this whole thing. Just to be clear, I don't know if you remember from the last clip, I was like, something's about to go wrong. I bet. Well, guess what? Nothing went wrong. One thing happened, I just needed to add a couple um, countries to my shipping profile, otherwise, Seamless and I literally still can't believe it Like what? How? Never happened before. I can't stop eating blueberries I'm going to start packing up some of these just to get a little bit of a head start It just makes me feel better to know that I've like done a little bit of work rather than them all just sitting there ominously I might start putting together some sticker orders. I just worked on stocking this whole thing up Sketchbook postcards, but that's not all Can you see in this drawer? This whole drawer is is full to the brim with more sketchbook postcard sets. So I'm hoping I won't get sold out quick. So I have these and I also have some more boxes of these that I just haven't even sorted yet. So I think I should be pretty secure for a while. <laughs> we'll see. It's so heavy. I also just stamped all my mailers down here. I have some small ones over here. Stickers, postcards, freebies. Um, and I was a little, I was a little upset because all my prints fit in here, but I just added these two B grade prints to my shop. They're just like misprints, and I can't put them both in my print holder, and I had to put one on my shelf. It really doesn't look bad. At first I was like, bummer, I really wanted to go my print thing. Ooh, no, but it's totally fine. <laughs> Let's get it. These new blue light blocking glasses that are prescription like my other ones so I can wear contacts, take them off. I'm excited. End of story. So I know you're very chill about timing, but <laughs> do you want me to come over Friday after work? That'd be like, Probably like 5.30ish. Maybe earlier because I live so close now. But yeah, I can do that too. Or if you just want me to come Saturday and Sunday, I can do that too. Saturday, what time? Sunday, what time? All these questions for you. Please answer now. Now. No fresh. <laughs> Hi, we're on the vlog. Please come over Friday after work. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. The shop actually opens tomorrow. I started packing orders and uh, it's just taking me a long time with the extra, you know, like 3D object pencil keychain thing. Um, it's taking me a lot longer. We're gonna need uh, an army. Am I in frame? I can't tell because my microphone's there. Hi, it's Thursday. My shop just opened like an hour ago. The... 
these sold out in actually like two minutes. I guess my patrons bought more than I thought. Sad for people who weren't patrons, sorry. Um, I already ordered a big restock of them. I, I got like three times the amount of keychains that I ordered the first time. So those will be here sometime. Um, that's just crazy. It's crazy. Um, I haven't checked my order count yet. I'm working through my Patreon order still and I probably will for a while. And like Grace said in her Snapchat, she's gonna come Saturday and Sunday to help me pack orders. So hopefully we can get through a lot of them. I'm giving these away as freebies. They're not my, they didn't turn out as well as I'd like, so I didn't feel like selling them. So they're freebies in every order until I run out. So I'm gonna be packing orders for the next, uh, I don't know how long, probably forever maybe. It's hard to say. My roommate Allie downstairs is making me a PB&J for lunch sick. So uh, I'm gonna get back to packing orders. I uh, hope you're having a good one. Bye. It's Friday. I'm stamping a bunch of sticker orders because I felt like I needed to sit today and sticker orders are the only thing I can do where I'm sitting and also packing orders. I can't wait for Grace to help me tomorrow. I'm making a small dent. I filled a few bags over there with today's packing and yesterday's packing. But with two of us, hopefully it's like double the speed and maybe we can really zoom through all the orders because she won't be able to help me during the weekdays coming up. Shout out to Grace for coming and wanting to come. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, me and my roommate Allie are gonna go try a new ramen place. I hope you're having a good one, staying hydrated. I've chugged two of these today, so keep up. <laughs> keep up. All right, it's Saturday, Grace is here. How many days have I been packing orders? Three. Wednesday, I started on Wednesday. Oh, cause it was early. This is day number four for me. Day number one for me. We're trucking along. Trucking is the right word. <laughs> it's so much slower with the extra stuff. And the 3D stuff. Packaging this with prints is an experience. And the pencils. The pencils aren't as bad. Yeah. We got today booked for a whole day of work, tomorrow booked for a whole day of work. Just to be clear, Grace is saving my whole life by doing this. Consider myself saved. Consider myself saved. That's at me. It's okay. It's fine. No, I'm trapped. <laughs> this is so much chaos. There's so much going on. Uh, hello? Denny? Hello? Hi. Hi. How is packing orders going? It's going. Are you hungry? Yeah. What? Are you hungry? I just ate. I'm watching.
watching Apple Cheeks premiere, but do you remember that this this drawer was full of postcards? This is my last stack. I'm putting them on my shelf. This is all I have left of prepped sketchbook postcards. I have more that I just haven't sorted yet, but and, but they're all gone. Like I can't believe they're all gone. Also, this was packed full of drink water keychains. This is all we have left. This is it. All we have left. Like, I can't believe they're all gone. Both of these were burstingly full. It's crazy. What do you think you're gonna get? I was in the lane. Do you know what yours is? A Siberian cat. <laughs> it's just like a fluffy cat. Where's it taking us? Ah. Am I supposed to choose? <laughs> I think you have a time limit, too. So. Oh, frick! Yeah. Don't oh. mess around. No! Yeah, you missed it. Um. Ah. <laughs> That's what a good employee would say. <laughs> Are you scared? Yeah. Would it have changed if I didn't miss the first question? <laughs> so we're in the middle of packing orders. <laughs> this is the state of the place. <laughs> Like how I kind of yawned into my water bottle. That was cool. Um, welcome to the end of the video. I really closed this thing off at a nice point where we were ending the day on Sunday and cleaning up the area and really that meshed well with the closing of the vlog and closing of that day. <laughs> this is uncomfortable. I cannot believe how taxing packing orders is. The fact that you pretty much need to stand the whole time is taxing in and of itself. But the, the small mailers, I have to squeeze them to slide things in, especially like the sketchbook postcards. Hello, Herc. Herc, you have to squeeze them open and my only two fingers that can are long enough to squeeze them are these two. And they're actually sore from squeezing the mailer open and sliding things in. I didn't really realize they were sore until I was trying to push the mailer against my body instead of squeezing it. And I was like, why am I doing this? And uh, my fingers hurt. So I took a very, very solid day off yesterday, edited this vlog and just like sat and chilled and had a day with no order packing. I, th I think Grace is gonna come over later tonight and help me pack orders maybe. And then uh, maybe I can film that and it will run right into the next vlog, who knows? I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope you stayed hydrated the whole time. I sure did. I actually drank water openly on the vlog a few times, which was just a great reminder. For you, the viewers, I wanna give a big shout out to my little puppy patrons. My friends make fun of you. Fun, no, my friends do not make fun of you. <laughs> my friends make fun of me for calling you little puppy patrons because literally no one asked for a nickname and I made it up. <laughs> and I just call you that because I think it's cuter than just saying patrons. But like it's on that edge of like, it's just a little too cute and silly. I'm not changing for anybody though. So thank you, little puppy patrons, for supporting me and letting me do literally anything I want. Sorry, little plant. Uh, the amount of orders and support on my shop update solely from my patrons was out of this world. So I just wanna say thank you again for just being nice 
It's very cool. I really like it. I like the niceness. I can't get enough. And also, thank you to everyone who has watched this video to the end and watched any of it at all, even though they probably won't see this if they don't finish it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you are not. Herc is also saying bye. Bye. I'm so tired. Just because you're tired doesn't mean you can't dance, you know what I mean? See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.